What's going on everyone? Raider here. Hope you're all doing great and having an amazing day. So in today's video, we're checking out the anti-reflecting screen protector. This is a two pack of screen protectors for the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Retail price on these is 30 bucks. You get two attempts here. Uh, one thing I will say, if you're new to installing screen protectors, I recommend a lot of humidity. Um, if you can run a humidifier in your room for a while, or even better yet, head into your bathroom, turn the shower on for about 10 minutes on hot, let that steam build up in there with the door closed, then bring all this stuff in the bathroom and do it in there. All that steam will bring down any of the dust particles. You don't need to leave the shower running at that point, but just get it nice and steamy in there to bring down all that dust. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at what we get in the box here. All right, so we've got a couple screen protectors here. Here they are themselves. Let's get those off to the side. Um, we have the instruction manual. I should probably read this real quick. Um, and then we have our little goodie box, which is gonna have like the dust removal tool and a bunch of stuff that's not gonna come out easily for me. I swear to goodness. All right, let's get after it. Here we go. Oh, they even give us a little microfiber wipe down cloth. That's nice, keep that around, that's for sure. Um, here's our little dust removal stickers and uh, we've got our little squeegee pad to get all the bubbles out. Good deal, so we got everything we need um, and there should be a little installation plastic clip here. All right, cool, so this is gonna be our guide and uh, there should be a little bit of stickum on our, yeah, I see it right there, a little bit of stickum, so to speak and our phone's gonna go up on there. So first thing you wanna do is do a nice wipe down on the phone and then we're gonna hit it with this real quick to get off any dust. Let's go ahead and take care of that real quick. We'll start with an initial wiping, right? No big deal. And again, I'm not treating this like a real screen install I would do for myself. I would be doing this in my bathroom right now. So this is strictly for the video. Um, I'll probably pull this one off and actually do a more pro install off camera. All right, so we did our little wipe down here. Next thing we should do is get this thing on here. All right, there we go, a little pull off part. Let's get this on here. Okay, okay, good. That took a little bit there, but it's securely on there now. Probably do one more little wipe down here real quick. Looks good. For thoroughness, we'll go ahead and use a dust removal tool. I really don't think it needs it right now, but whatever, we're gonna do it for the video. All right, so you'll just take it like this, no big deal. Just go around the whole device, get all the dust off, even though there's none here. All right, just go through, cool beans. These screen installs are really no big deal anymore. It shouldn't be anyway. Hopefully it doesn't troll me. All right, so we've got our screen protector itself. Should be pretty straightforward. I shouldn't even need to read the manual. Let me get this open. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is you're gonna notice the number one here, okay? So what we need to do is pull this off and that's gonna stick on our device after we flip this over. Because you'll notice after we flip this over, we've got these little tabs at the bottom and these orientate with this right here. See how they're the same size and orientation? They really make this stuff idiot proof. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back over here. We'll take this number one sticker off, all right? I'm just looking at my viewfinder here, so it's a real weird angle for me. I'm trying to kind of just wing it here. Uh, let me get up in here and get this on here just right. You don't wanna push down on this part until you got all this lined up, that's for sure. All right, it's probably a good idea to have a towel under your device so it doesn't move around. Now we've got those lined up, so I'm gonna go nice and slow, all right? We're just gonna put the screen protector down like this, nice and easy, all right? That's all I'm trying to do is just lay it flat like this, okay? So now we're just gonna do that real easy. Now we have this end that's separate from this end, all right? There's this little blue thing. Let's take our little squeegee thing if I can find it. All right, here we go. So now what we're gonna be doing is applying this top end here. So let's do that real quick. All right, so get going. Super easy. Don't worry about the bubbles. They're gonna come out after 24 to 48 hours. We wanna lift up on this blue thing right here. Okay, hopefully that's showing up in camera. It is. All right, cool. So we're just gonna keep going forward. Try to do it in kind of one swipe. I just lifted off there, shouldn't have done that. Just try to go all the way. Okay, we're gonna go nice and slow. Nice and slow. All the way to the end. That's looking pretty darn good. All right, cool, cool. Now, let's just flip this device over. Now we have the other half to work with, right? So we're gonna lift this part up. All right, make sure I'm in camera view here. Let's just lift this whole thing up. This, this half is gonna come up, and now we have the blue thing come out on this side. All right, we're gonna do the same thing. No big deal, real simple. All right, keep going. The only thing screwing me up is being on camera at a weird angle. Like, this is super simple. You're gonna have no problems with this. Just go through nice and slow, take your time, Remember, dust and alignment are your enemies. That's it. 
dust and alignment. Let's go all the way to the edge there. And then we're gonna take this black thing off, the little holder. Okay, I'm just gonna do a wipe this way too. Wow, that went on nice and smooth. Let's go ahead and take this off. Cool. We're gonna take, there's one little protective film that's covering this whole thing. We're gonna go ahead and remove this right here. Let's go ahead and take a look in the light real quick. Let me see if I can get at my YouTube lights. We got, a, we got a few bubbles there to work out, no big deal. Let's go ahead and work those out for a second. And again, I'm not overly concerned with this whatsoever because these bubbles will work themselves out 24 to really like 72 hours. Give them a full three days or so. Um, the one thing though, the one thing that's a killer, let me, uh, let me point this out, is if after three days or so, if you notice a bubble on here and it's not going away, you're probably gonna notice a little tiny dot underneath that bubble. That's a bad install. It means you gotta pull that screen protector up and redo it again, or do it again, I should say, because what happened was, is you got a piece of dust, a little speck of dust trapped underneath there. That'll never go away. That's why I always recommend doing these in the bathroom with a hot shower. You won't have that problem. So uh, do I think it's worth it? Does it change anything? Uh, the reflective properties look about the same. I don't really notice a big difference. I mean, it adds peace of mind. I don't think we really need it so much as far as scratch resistance this year with the uh, Corning Gorilla Armor. All in all, I think it's fine. You know, they're cool. If you want to put a screen protector on, that's cool. I usually don't rock one, but uh, I'll probably just keep this one on here. It was a nice, super easy install. I will say that these guides make it super easy. So the uh, official Samsung Broken Box Now screen protector, you can get it on their site. It's like 30 bucks, $29.99, something like that. If you have any questions or comments about this screen protector or anything else about the S24 Ultra, please drop them down in the comments section below. I always appreciate your time. Thanks for watching.